bodies. Start over. My grandfather was concerned that they were going to find bodies that were buried back in the uh, early 1920s. Mm -hmm. That they had used the train to remove them from the river, but the train company wouldn't haul them anywhere, so they ended up digging a hole beside the train tracks mm -hmm. and burying them in the hole. These hole, this on and this train track right here. It, yeah, I'm not sure which one it was, and back then the train tracks were in different places. But uh, my father, God bless him, every time he'd come to pick me up out of this work release center, we'd pull out and he'd point over here, this is where all the black people are buried from that race massacre back in 21. And uh, it haunted him. It's got to where it's haunted me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm here haunting you with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to try to get to the bottom of it. And so this general vicinity. Yeah. Uh, what got me thinking about it was all of the race riot stuff and massacre programs I was seeing here in the last year. And I was going, why are they digging there? None never heard of anybody being buried there mm -hmm. and uh, my grandparents would say where you guys are digging was just for show that was just to show people something was being done but apparently there was a, more than 300 bodies in this one grave oh uh, here right here there's a, some more graves that are down the tracks a ways and I'm not sure if they were talking this side of the water plant or the other side of the water plant but they were just saying it was just past the water plant where they had dug another hole and buried about the same amount of people in. and who was your grandfather my grandfather was was william bevenu he was the u.s marshal in this indian territory he rode the shotgun on the west fargo stagecoach from uh, Durant, uh, Creek County, Oklahoma City. But this was a uh, Creek uh, Indian territory. My grandfather was Creek Indian. He was French, black, and Indian. And uh, he was, had, back in the day, he had pretty much charging and run of this territory. Mm. Well, and what's your name? My name's Melvin Bevenu. Melvin, Melvin Bevenu Jr. My dad was Melvin Sr. He was a uh, construction worker and a musician, but he was also a uh, a U.S. Marshal, deputy U.S. Marshal with the uh, Creek Indian Police Force, the Light Horse. So, according to your great grandfather, this section right here and this other section further up is where they dump bodies off the railway from the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre. Right. And over by where they're digging at that Oakland Cemetery, there was a place where they had put bodies, but they had to move them or bury them. But that location is, is right underneath the expressway now. Mm -hmm. I mean, Highway 75 runs right on top of that spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you heard about bodies being put there, too. Mm -hmm. I have as well. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Bevan. Well, I'm glad somebody actually took it serious. I, I am. And I'm going to post this on my YouTube channel. And I also want to show people the immense poverty in Tulsa. This is a tent town, right right next to the sheriff's office, which is right here, right in the shadows of the BOK. We have a- This is Avalon also, that's a long, work release center. Okay, it's work release center. And this is, so they, I mean, how can they say they don't see this? They're right there. And this is the kind of poverty that people are living through and under. Um, it's just sad, it's sad. Signing out, this Pastor Turner, Robert Turner, um, trying to get to the truth, trying to show you the truth, and keep us lifted up in prayer as we try to do God's work.